everybody. This is Cotton the Rooster. A cotton rooster's been with me, oh, about seven years, and he's really my soulmate. And I fell in love with him, and he fell in love with me. Right, Cotton? He's such a little sweetheart. This is a very special little chickie. As you can see, this is my baby. Knowing a chicken is something very special. They're just not here on this earth to eat. They're here because they're beautiful creatures of the universe. darling. Here is a poem I wrote to my cotton rooster. Each day the beautiful white rooster called cotton arises crowing. Hurry so you don't catch cold. He has such love and happiness. Oh, look how tiny you are. He has such a joy exuding from his whole beautiful being. I never even knew a human that was filled with so much love and joy, so great to greet me each morning. We're all done! going on a wonderful ride. Aren't you happy? He really thinks he's human. He doesn't notice the difference. <laughs> because he does all the things we do. You know, he wants to get up on the bed and go to sleep there and wants to eat with us. In fact, he'll jump up on the table when we're eating and he eats just about everything I eat. Corn on the cob. That's his favorite. And, uh, oh, he loves a good McDonald's. Though I don't have that too much, because I'm not a junk eater. <laughs> I've watched a little bit of what the hens eat. Sometimes, of course, they'll go into the driveway and just fill up on rocks, because that's how they eat. They don't have any teeth. Nutritionally, they know exactly what they need. They'll take, like, for example, one dandelion fluff, and then they'll move to another weed and take a little piece of a leaf, and also uh, little pieces of dirt or something I can't see because their eyesight is just fabulous, like living microscopes. They'll also f chase anything that moves, so they're very good at taking moths and flies and mosquitoes and everything. They're always after things that are moving. When I leave the house, I always leave the television on for him so he can watch television. Or I leave on classical music. Of course, he loves Pavarotti. They're so intelligent. I mean, they're just like dogs or cats. Well, I've heard of them being housebroken, too. But he has a little panty on him just in case he would have a, a little accident. The panties, how do they work? I tie them here. See, it comes. Here it is. Just tie it under the wing so they're very comfortable. And they just come right through. Then I put a little diaper pad inside. We can't always judge animals from our own kind of intelligence. Chickens have 